Hello, today's, difference, uh, today's video is going to be a bit different. Uh, my friend Emily uh, introduced me to this game. Um, uh, I won't say too much about it, but basically I'm going to give you a bunch of questions and you're going to answer them with the first thing that pops into your head with the most honest answer. Be as vivid and as creative as possible. And then in part two, I'm going to release another video with the kind of answers, if you like. Um, to the to the game and then you can take away whatever you want from it. Alright, so uh, my answers were quite long so I wanted to try to be as vivid as possible and I suggest you do the same. So I wrote them down, so I've just got them here in a little book. Um, so I'll give you the question, then give you my answer and you can do it along with me and then I'll give you the answers next week. So... My cube is has a thin black outline that appears really richly dark until the um, there's a faint rainbow coloured uh, there's the walls are faint rainbow coloured and uh, and they come into play and the, they're extremely transparent but at the same time they're they're like really mm, deeply multicoloured multi just like a rainbow just like you'd see one in the sky it looks kind of transparent um, but also really colourful. Um, and uh, and the, the black bits are really solid, like steel, like really, really solid. And the cube is neither stationary or moving. It feels like it's, um, I can't really put my finger on it, it feels like it's war warping and, and, and like whizzing around through the space of the sand, uh, where, and it never stays in, in one place exactly. It kind of, so it, it doesn't remain a certain size either, so it changes location and size so instantaneously that it's, it's barely visible and doesn't really seem to actually exist anywhere in relation to the sand. So it kind of exists, but I can't actually put my finger on it, so I can't actually answer where it is. And um, once the cube comes into play, the sand wraps around it like... Um, like a, like a when you put like matter in, in gravity in the universe. So when you put the sun into the universe, it kind of warps gravity because obviously there's gravity all around the Earth uh, pulling uh, matter that goes in, uh, uh, to the surface. And it kind of, so when the cube gets placed onto the sand, the sand warps around the cube um, but never touches it uh, and seems to fold and it looks like a Chinese fortune cookie. And um, um, and also, so like the 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 position of the cube moves around. Like I can't really focus on it, and it and it's similar to like a, a, a photon because they did um, this uh, the double double slip experiment on the on the photon. I found out that it has like wave and particle uh, like qualities, and they can't really actually put, put a finger on it because it's, it's something like um, I can't really remember exactly. But when they try and identify it. It, so when measured it can't be identified and when identified it can't be measured something like that so that's the kind of feeling I get with this cube um, my ladder when the ladder comes into play for some reason the sand unfolds and lays flat but it, it goes vertical um, from my kind of perspective as I'm looking at it so it, you've got the so the sand is vertical like this and then all the objects are kind of like here and uh, the cube hovers over the sand still moving everywhere the same kind of vibe um, and then and then uh, and, and it's like it's similar to like in uh, in Lucy where it explains how if it wasn't for times things wouldn't exist if you've seen the film Lucy at the end where it shows the picture of the car or the video of the car moving and if it wasn't for like time the, the cube wouldn't exist it feels like that I don't know get that kind of feeling and then the ladder slots into the cube uh, vertically from my perspective but not from the sand uh, from 
uh, from like mid-air parallel to the sand so if you, this is the ladder and this is the sand which is vertical from my perspective and the ladder is like this going into the cube which is separate from the sand um, at this point the sand feels completely distinct to the cube it all it all it always did um, like a, in another realm or kind of dimension and and when you step on uh, when you step on the ladder it turns into chicken breast oh, chicken breast uh, and the ladder inserts in the cube, but every time it does, the cube moves. This is um, this is like a recursive process, and the ladder appears completely normal, uh, wood completely out of place next to the 3D cube, just really, just really bland and normal. Uh, the ladder is. The ladder is longer than any sides of the cube, which still feels like it's forever changing uh, ge geometry and its size. Um, this continues, continuous movement means the ladder is kind of uh, esoteric, it feels really elusive, it kind of doesn't really, it kind of can't insert into the cube, but it feels like it's going in vert vertically, like it's, but it can't actually. So my horse is, it doesn't have a colour that I recognise, it's almost as if every possible colour perceivable by anything um, were embodied in this, this one horse. The horse is large compared to the ladder and has no features whatsoever, only an outline which, um, uh, so um, much like when an object is frozen, I don't know if you've seen Narnia. Um, I think it's the line which in the wardrobe where fucking Thomas gets frozen and you don't, it, don't, it doesn't really have features, just an outline. Um, only the outline in which it hosts, it's got this just alien colour and it, and it, and it homes on the ladder, able to catch up with the illustrious cube. Um, the horse has a reflection onto the sand, which is seen in another dimension still. So you've got the, the sand, and then you've got the ladder and the cube and the horse, which is here. But then the horse has a reflection um, in the other dimension, so on the sand dimension. And how uh, the reflection is extremely tiny in comparison to the cube, the horse, and the ladder. And the, the and it's mind-numbingly normal, like one from a, a cowboy film and uh, the, the reflected horse uh, runs non-stop on the sand uh, and as grounded as can be, just completely normal whilst the cube, horse and ladder exist in this other dimension much like the sun does to us so a kind of a really huge distance, physical distance Um, my flowers, um, they, they were a uh, healthy, bright green, uh, as bright as I can imagine, like a cross between neon and uh, asparagus. Uh, one end was spiked like an arrowhead, which kept water inside the stout, which is the, would be the green bit, I think that's the right word. Uh, the other end should have had a flower head, but it didn't. Uh, you'd think this would uh, detract from its symbol of a flower, so you'd think it'd just make it look like a, you know a non-existent as a, as a flower. Um, but but the beauty lied in the stem, which glowed uh, a light of its own. It's kind of a bent description, but I don't know. I was feeling it at the time. There were myriads of the, them scattered, so there's just like an in, infinite amount, not that I can actually imagine or put a number on. Um, uh, infinitely, uh, uh, they were randomly scattered across the vertical sand plane, which is here, uh, but they weren't planted, they were just, uh, they were, felt like they were quite deliberate. 
as, as well as random, they were just they kind of had a purpose there, and they were really they weren't insignificant. They were nicely placed, and they um, they were quite deliberate in the location. Um, and the reflection of the horse, which is a very small one, can uh, run faster than ever across the sand. Uh, now the flowers are in place, and uh, trying to avoid the flowers for it didn't want to. Uh, for it didn't want to damage them, um, but it didn't actually know that if it stepped on them, it would um, actually get be poisoned by the arrow because the rich green, the rich green of the stem seemed to supply the poison, like it seemed to represent the the poison the effect it could have on the horse, um, and it felt like the colour played a symbolic role in, in relation to the poison. So. Like it wasn't the arrowhead that was the baddie, but the green greenness of the stem. Um, every colour was extremely vivid, apart from the horse, which I still can't pin down. Um, and it and it just felt really surreal, kind of weird colours. It's nothing. It didn't feel uh, like reality at all. I mean, the objects were really simple in in you know real life, but in in my head they just didn't appear that normal at all. The storm only applied to the sand I mentioned uh, with the reflection in the flowers, uh, the reflection of the horse. The cube uh, wasn't affected at all and it remained in a parallel dimension vertically from my perspective. Like, like when you're in bed and you read a book on your side and it's like in front of you. So that's the, the book would be the sand, the flatness of the sand, that dimension. And then your head would be the cube, etc. And the storm was almost like a non-entity that it didn't cause any damage at all ever. The storm had no direction whatsoever, but in in tension, in in it intertwined and echoed in the in a similar fashion to that of the flowers, if you could call them that. Um, so the storm was black and grey, but it almost. It almost seemed beautiful in, in its day. It almost seemed quite uh, idyllic, and it was it was calm, uh, making no sound, um, yet slow, but constantly constantly moving. It engulfed the horse and the flowers, uh, rich, reaching all the way from the flowers to the parameters of the desert dimension. Um, so that was like as far as you can go, basically covered all of it, causing no damage whatsoever the entire time. If anything, it made the um, the view more scenic and the and the and from the cube from the cube uh, perspective it was quite picturesque it looked quite nice it made it more enjoyable to look at um, and and that's it comment what you think about my answers uh, and comment what you get and uh, just let me know